afternoon. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, I'm excited for another week of work. Uh, big test for us this week within the division with uh, Green Bay at home. Uh, it'll be a great opportunity for us. Um, but just as always, you know, laser focused on, on this game on Sunday night and, uh, you know, taking care of what, what we need to do and, and going from there. So take any questions you got. What was the process of finding out um, if you're going to be starting this week? Uh, yeah, yeah, KO just you know had us in and spoke to us and just let us know what's going on and um, we just went from there and then got right into work. How long did it take you to kind of get back right after that concussion? Yeah, it took about two weeks. You know, I wasn't wasn't uh, out for those those uh, two games following Atlanta. I wasn't there traveling with the team or, or at the game, so it's about two weeks and I started feeling myself again. Yeah. So. Oh, and just what was I mean? We haven't talked to you since then. I mean, just like getting your chance to start and, mm -hmm. and things going well, and then being down in the first quarter. What was yeah, your that's that's system? football, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of, it was a lot to take in the moment. You know, obviously yeah. the brain was a little rattled, and sure, trying to understand sure. what was going on was uh, was fun to kind of snap out of that and realize. But uh, it's a game of football. You know, there's a lot of big dudes out there, a lot of fast dudes, and, and you got to learn to to play within the system and play the right way to avoid stuff like that happening the best of your ability. So it's definitely something I've noted and. You know, we'll hope, hopefully be better at. And how will you, how will you sort of approach? You just that? gotta realize how fast guys play. You gotta be, you gotta be smart about the times you use your legs, and and you gotta get down. You know, there's no superhero ball you need to play. Um, you know, the game is one over four quarters, not one play, and you just gotta remember that. Um, you know, if you do what you need to do, delivering the ball, you don't have to be in those situations for the most part. Sharon, were you worried this opportunity wouldn't come up again? No, you know, it's there's a process for everybody. You know. Um, you just got to take every opportunity you're given. Uh, for me, you know, being on practice squad and, and giving our defense a look every day the last couple weeks has been great. Uh, that's been my Sunday game, you know, but within that, you're always preparing because you never know when this is going to happen. So never a worry. Um, you just trust the process. You, excuse me, you've obviously been um, in U.S. Bank Stadium now and experienced kind of the atmosphere there. What are you looking forward to just about being able to start at home? Yeah, just being around our fans. Um, you know, it's always special being in a home game. Uh, be my first one to actually play and be out there in the preseason. The preseason, it was amazing. Um, you know, it was fun. So to see it when it's, you know, truly packed out for the regular season, it'll be, it'll be awesome. Jaron, how do you avoid the uh, or manage the turnovers that have killed this team? Yeah, you know, just, just play within yourself. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of different reasons why turnovers happen, fumbles, interceptions, whatever it is. Everyone that's played the game has succumbed to that at one point or another. Um, and you just focus on it all week. Um, and you just try to be better at it. Small regular season sample sizes for you at Green Bay and, mm -hmm. and then the Atlanta Star, but how much value do, do those? A lot, yeah, a lot, a lot to learn from in those those few plays that I got. A lot of different situations, so um, you know, but just trying to look to this game as its own own thing and, and really just focus on it from that perspective. Jim, how do you not make this too pressure pack knowing? You guys do need to win out. Yeah, well, you let you know you let the importance of it kind of play in your preparation. Um, and with that, um, you just focus on every play. You focus on every snap. Um, when you're preparing, you focus on your checks, and you just go through your process. And then come game day, you know, I think it just as long as you stay focused on that process, you don't worry about all the ex you know external factors and what's going on. And, and I think that's where the best you know players are, are at their best is when they're able to to stay locked in on that process. What's something about the offense or just NFL quarterback in general you feel like you? You have a handle on now that maybe it was still work in progress. Okay. Yeah, I think it's still everything's still work in progress. You know, I'm still in my first season. I can't say I've you know got a great handle on anything yet because I, I got to go play a game and see what happens, right? So, um, but I'll always, always, I'm confident in what I'm able to do. And, and you know, the coaches have been great at developing me to this point, understanding the offense more, learning behind Kirk and Nick and Josh when he joined us. Um, you know, it's been great. So I think I've gotten better in every area. You know, since I first got here. But you know, obviously, there's a lot to still prove and, and a lot to see come Sunday. You know, where I need to work. What's been the biggest value of being the number two these last couple of weeks? Like, what have you done more in that? In that yeah, round? just I mean, just seeing the defense, our defense every day, uh, full speed defense that does a lot of stuff pre snap, um, really expands your mind and how you you know react in that moment. Um, and so, just just having those full speed reps has been huge because you don't get a lot of reps when you're backing up with with your offense. And so, just having game game like reps with the defense at full speed has been huge. What is the biggest thing that you've taken away from being around Kirk? This season. Yeah, I think I've said it before, um, you know, and, and I don't love being repetitive, but I've always just thought Kirk prepared so well, you know, and, and that's always his focus, you know, and, and I think anybody that knows him knows he's a very detailed man, and um, and so I've always honored that and respected that. And Nick does the same thing. They prepare better than anybody I've ever been around. And so seeing that from both of them, it just sets a standard, and that's, you know, something I want to, you know, live up to is doing the same. Jaron, how would you describe the way Kevin has kind of led from the top with all the injuries and 
adversity his team's been through? Yeah, it's a no flinch mentality. You know, he always talks about the next play, the next opportunity, and how you respond, you know, to injuries, to mistakes, whatever it is, the response we have week in and week out. That's what makes up the football team. Um, that's what makes up our team and, and the guys that we have here. Thanks, Jared. Thank, Thank you all. Yes, sir.